in this video we will learn about hartz mechanism uh, that is based on straight line mechanism so hartz mechanism is of six links namely if this is point o so it has six links ao ao oe oe and pm pd dl and lm it has six links in which oe link oe is fixed and point e rotates in a circle okay and in this mechanism the point e and point a are fixed in such a way that in such a way that things are given if i like if i write given so what is the things that are given ab upon bd is equals to be upon bm is equals to cl <coughs> upon ld this is first equation which is given and second is b l m d is trapezium trapezium so b l is parallel to d m now now and in hartz mechanism point c this is point c this is point c and this point c moves moves in a straight line point c moves in a straight line point c moves in a straight line perpendicular to ao if we extend if we extend it if we extend it ao so the line the C will draw a line which is perpendicular to AO. So C is moving straight line and it will and it will perpendicular to AO. Okay. So these things are given. Now we have to prove that what we have to prove C moves in a straight line and A, E, C are in a straight line. We have to prove suppose if we give it a name Z so CZ we have to prove uh, if I write to prove to prove what CZ is a straight line a straight line when we rotate the point E the point C will also move and we have uh, and in Hartz mechanism the mechanism is such arranged that point C moves in a straight line and this we have to prove and also for C to be moved in a straight line A E C should be A E and C these three points should be <coughs> should be should be in straight line a straight line okay so we have to prove first this and then second this okay now let us prove that AEC this A E and C this this is this is this three points line a straight line so let us start now consider consider triangle Consider triangle B, D and M. B, D and M. This whole triangle. Consider this whole triangle B, D, M. And in this triangle B, A upon <coughs> A, D. B, A upon B, A upon um, B, D is equals to 
be upon bm okay this is given this is given from here so so we have read it in intermediate level that if this ratio are equal so we can write ae ae is parallel to dm ae is parallel to dm and also also dm is parallel to bl so ae is parallel to bl now now in triangle in triangle a sorry <coughs> in triangle b d l b d l this whole triangle in triangle b d l in triangle b d l b a upon b d is equals to c l upon l d this thing is given so similarly we can write here a e is parallel to sorry a c a c is parallel to b l so a e is parallel to so from this two equation if we write it equation 3 and if we write it equation 4 so from this two equation we can write <coughs> We can write AE is parallel to AC. AE is parallel to AC. Hence, we can write here AEC is lies in lies in straight line. So, we have proved our second part. Now, we have to prove that C is travel in a straight line such that CZ is perpendicular to <coughs> OA. Now in our in our <coughs> intermediate level, we have proved one theorem like if this is circle and this is a radius and we if we name it E and if we extend it as a point C. So if if the center is at A so we have proved a theorem that if ae into ac is equals to constant is equals to constant then then c will move in move in a straight line move in a straight line so that will be perpendicular to <coughs> That will be perpendicular to the line extending horizontally <coughs> from A. <coughs> so, in this situation also, what we have to prove? We have to prove only AE into AC is equals to constant. To prove CZ is perpendicular to AO. Now, our aim is to prove AE into AC is equals to constant. Now, we will prove AE into AC is equals to constant to prove AE into AC is equals to constant this is our aim to prove that line CZ moves in a straight line now how we will do that now C triangle A sorry A B E and D B M okay in this triangle a b e and d b m what we have since both the triangles are similar because this side is common and the ratio of these two sides and these two sides are equal we have given for that so what we can write here we can write here the ratio of a e and d m a e upon dm this will be equals to ab upon bd ab upon bd 
this is our first equation oh sorry not this is first so this uh, this will be a e is equals to a b into dm upon b d this is first equation now now if we now again taking triangle now in triangle in triangle d a c in triangle d a c and triangle d d b l this d b l and d a c since both the triangles are similar because the ratio of the sides are equal and this angle is common so we can write here a c upon b l is equals to is equals to uh, a c upon b l is equals to a d a d a d upon b d okay so a c will be this implies a c is equals to a d into b l upon b d we have arrived to this situation now what we will do we have to find out the product of a e into a c so multiplying equation 1 and 2 we get a e into a c is equals to a b a b into a b into a d a d upon b d square into d m into b l now we have we have given a b and a d and b d so we can write here constant into d m into b l because a b and a d and b d we have initially defined it so this whole term will be constant and we are left with dm into bl now we have to prove dm into bl is constant okay so for that for that we will we will draw a triangle like this i am drawing from l we will drawing a triangle from here and I draw a perpendicular we will draw a triangle such that BL BL is equals to DN this portion BL is equals to DN D sorry if we P we say and we are saying N over here so this is N point and this is perpendicular to to pm okay so we draw a uh, we draw a triangle like this for proving dm into bl is equals to constant now what we'll do here we can write we can write dm is equals to dn dn plus nm we can write dm is equals to dn dn plus nm and bl is equals to this bl is equals to this so we can write d uh, bl is equals to dn minus pn we can write dn minus pn and also pn and nm are equal so we can write here this will be equals to dn minus nm okay now 
now dm into bl is equals to dn square minus nm square dn square minus nm square and we can write dn square is equals to dl square minus lm square ln square this dl square this is a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle so we can write dn is equals to dl square into ln square so dn is equals to dl square minus minus ln square similarly we can write nm square is equals to lm square minus ln square lm square lm square minus ln square minus ln square so ln square and square will get cancelled out so we are left with dl square minus lm square now we have we have dl and lm is known initially we have defined a dl and nm so and we can assume it as a constant so dl square and lm square is equals to constant and this is equals to this is equals to dm into bl is equals to constant so from here we can say that <coughs> dm into bl is also constant and this is also constant so ae into ac is equals to constant hence point c since this is constant hence point c moves in a straight line moves in straight line which is perpendicular to hence point c moves in a straight line which is perpendicular to az which is perpendicular to az hence this is all about hart's mechanism which gives a straight which is which is nothing but basically a straight line mechanism and it it gives accurate straight line not approximate straight line and it has six links that is a o o e d m uh, b m b d and l m it has six links and uh, we have initially defined that a b a b upon b d is equals to b e upon b m and c l upon l d this portion is given and BLMD is the trapezium by when we are drawing it we make sure that BL, BLMD makes a trapezium such that BL is parallel to <coughs> DM so to prove it point C moves in a straight line we have to prove CZ is a straight line uh, CZ is a straight line and AE, is, AE should be in a straight line AEC these three points should be in a straight line <coughs> okay so for that we have uh, we have uh, proved this uh, two portion and by this we can say that point C moves in a straight line in the heart mechanism. So this is all about heart mechanism. Thank you.